Hey guys, what's up? It's Scott with Let's Keep It Simple, and today I'm going to show you how to bypass error 1013 again, but this time when you downgrade it from 4.3 to 4.2.1. This will work on all your iDevices. So first we need to go to Go, then go to Folder, and type backslash etc backslash and press enter. Next we need to go to host and drag it onto our desktop. Then open it up and copy and paste this text which is located in the description. Then save it and drag it back into the folder. Authenticate and replace. This is the trick that we do anytime we want to downgrade our firmware. So here you can see that I do have an iPhone 4 running iOS 4.3, but this will work on any iDevice. So let's plug it in and open up iTunes. First, you're going to want to hold the Apple icon and press restore and browse for the IPSW that you want to downgrade to. In this case, it's IPSW 4.2.1. So now we'll go ahead and speed up the whole process to make it not so boring. Um, what's going to happen to my device, and it may happen to a lot of you guys, is that it's eventually going to freeze, or the iTunes Restore is going to freeze, and it'll stop with the update. It happens to me every time, but there's a simple fix that I'm going to show you right now. So this happens every time, but it's really easy once you know what to do. Download RecBoot, open it up, and kick it into recovery mode. It's as simple as that. And don't forget to quit RecBoot, otherwise it'll keep putting your device into recovery mode, and you'll have to keep redoing it, which is very annoying. It's right here that we're going to get the dreaded 1013 error. So what we're going to want to do is hide iTunes and open up Green Poison and basically just jailbreak it. So if you're already downgrading it, you probably already know how to jailbreak it, so you can just skip the rest of this video. But if you don't, enter your device into DFU mode. And if you don't know how to do that, don't worry, because Green Poison will walk you through the steps. And once you've entered the device into DFU mode, just press jailbreak and Green Poison will do the rest of the work for you. Just sit back and relax. Once Green Poison is done, you'll notice that you'll be restored to 4.2.1 and your device will be jailbroken, which is pretty nice. Here you can see that the phone successfully restored down to 4.2.1. Well, that's all for this simple video. Thanks for watching. And for more iTunes errors, subscribe to my channel. Click on the text if you need help with iTunes error 1600 or on the video for error 1004. Subscribe and tell me how I can make my videos even simpler.